All right, hey, state your whole name for the record. What's your whole name? Ty Meta. Ty what? Ty Meta. How do you spell Meta? M-A-I-D-A. All right, Ty Meta. What we're working on is we're working on a crow hop today. Ty is how old, Ty? 17. 17 years old, 6'2". How fast you run the 60 in? 6'8". 6'8", 60. So we got a lot of tools here, but we're working on the weakest link, which is the throw. So let's go into the throw. As we come into this throw... This is what we talked about. When we get into the first step, we really want to drive with that back leg to really get momentum going into our crow hop. There's your drive. See that little drive where you get the straightening of the back leg? That's you driving to get that foot behind you. The harder you drive, the more ground you're going to cover here and the more momentum you're going to put into the outfield throw in this crow hop. So we have the drive here coming behind. Now we're just controlling the momentum. Coming forward, you do a good job. You keep the front side closed. Be a little bit careful with how high you have this glove up because sometimes if this glove up is high, we pull it extra hard. And we don't want to pull extra hard with our glove side. We want to feel it with our chest. So as we come through here, stick right there. I like where you're landing right there in a quarter cock position. You're right here. Now, how are you going to come out of this is the question. Are we going to let our chest come forward? Or are we going to pull hard with our front side? Pull down. Pull down side. and out to the side. But we're, if we're pulling too hard with our glove side, you see how my head starts going over there. And at the release point, which is right here, that's your spine angle right about there. We want to get our spine angle when we release here. So instead of pulling down really hard with the glove side and pulling toward the bushes, we want to relax the glove, get our front chest to come more forward rather than to the side this way. And you can tell it through the back foot because once you stick it, once my chest starts to come forward, look how your back foot is dragging. Your back foot's dragging because you're pulling everything over to this side. Dragging, then the let go, and then coming through. And you can even see the power coming off the top of your head with your hat right there, right? So let's look at another view. Let's look at the front view. Gathering putting that weight on the back leg, driving with the back leg. Now, the more you drive with that back leg, I think the more you're going to land on a straighter line. That's not bad to stay closed, but remember, get that foot opened a little bit towards your target so you're not closed off too hard. Boom. So I like that there, landing here. But then watch this. See how you're pulling it straight down? So you're being really aggressive, just tanking that straight down, being real aggressive. And then watch my shoulder. Then my shoulder pulls out. Keep everything coming forward like this. Let it come forward. Don't yank out so hard. Let the chest take control. There's that heavy contralateral tilt. We want that to be at about 45, well, it's 45 degrees now. We want that to settle down and quiet down a little bit and be at about 25 degrees. So we're not pulling so hard with the glove side but letting the energy come through our body, through the chest up to the arm. And that should lower that arm down a little bit. And help you finish better. So when you're finishing right here, when you're releasing the ball here, look how high up your chest is. I can see everything here on your chest. I want you to release so that your chest is coming more forward, your contralateral tilt isn't so deep, and that we let the chest deliver the ball. And that was a different finish on you. I didn't know if you slipped on that or not, but your leg didn't even really come up hard on that. You slipped. See your front foot? You slipped on that. So once you slip like that, that, that just interrupts the whole kinetic chain. You can see it right down here, your foot. Once you hit, you're sliding. So you lost a lot of energy. But look at your torso. You see how I'm talking about how it's leaned over here? We want to get it more forward, okay? Now let's look at the back view. There's our catch. First move, driving. Drive that back leg into the first move. That gets you everything going. It's going to get you covering ground more. This is where you're trying to separate. So you're taking your shoulder back here. 
but this is where we want to see more hips starting to turn that's going to add power into it we want to separate here you're separating you look really good with the upper half on how you're separating but your hips haven't started to turn yet and that's where we want to do as we get into that now once you hit once you hit the front foot that front foot is going to push this front hip this way and the back hip starts to turn see it back hip starts to turn because now I'm using the ground force to turn my hip but when before I get into that ground force I want to be driving off and get this hip to start to turn this way as your upper body is in a good position this way so you start to separate that's going to add more power into your stride and then here we start pulling so hard down with the glove this is where we go into that super high contralateral tilt here and then look at our body now see how it's tilting over there we want to get rid of that tilt and get it more on a straight angle so that the power isn't leaked out over here but all the power is going forward see how the leg drags look at the back foot and that's all finishing up now if we were to come down with our chest you would be here and you would see that back leg start to fly up immediately because it's like a seesaw what the front side does the back side dictates since the back since the front side is pulling over here what this what's this on to do it's on a slide over there see it and that's just following what your front side is doing so our front side controls and our back side shows us what it's been doing but we're just leaning over more to that side There's the finish of the leg kick at the end. But, I mean, good job. I mean, one of the things that I really want to stress that we work on is where we're taking our trunk, and our trunk is called our chest. We want to relax this glove side a little bit more up here and be more conscious of the chest coming forward. There's your big jump. This is where we're getting our power from here to here. Drive drive with that back side that's where we're getting power one driving power position number one getting into the front foot starting to come back with the upper body let's start to get our hips going again now it's a little harder to drive here because there's so much momentum into your back foot but it can be done again drive so once you land I couldn't see that white before so it shows me your hips are just barely starting to turn. I'm glad you wore those shorts today, by the way. If you were to get a little bit more out of that back leg, we'd get our hips to turn a little bit more with that separation with your upper body that looks really good. Then we would be able to separate and have more power in this in this stride. But even if I put more power in, if you're going to pull down hard and lean that way, yeah. you're not going to see it. It's got to come forward like that. Okay?